Hey guys, it's Angela with A to Z Custom Creations, and today I am finally getting around to showing you how to use Daddy Vans to seal painted furniture. Um, actually, it's not a piece of furniture, it's the drawer to a piece of furniture, but um, same concept, so it counts, right? It counts. Um, also, it's Tip Talking Tuesday, so I'm going to answer a few of your questions. Um, those questions are about Daddy Vans. Um, and I appreciate your patience. Um, I've really actually been trying to come up with great comparisons to other brands. And then I realized, you know what, I don't need to compare it to other brands. What I need to do is compare it to what it is. It's a natural product. And what people are really wanting, what you're really wanting to know is how is it different from what else is on the market. And what you're really used to using, what I was so used to using, was solvent-based products. And so the difference is that Daddy Vans is all natural. And so there is a huge difference. And so I'm going to talk about what makes it different today. Um, but before I do, before I talk about what's so different about it, I'm just going to show you how super easy it is to use. It actually goes on just like any other wax. So if you've used wax for painted furniture before, you're not going to have to learn anything different. It goes on the same, just like super easy, just much easier. Um, if you already have a wax brush, no need to do anything different. If you don't have a wax brush, no problem. Grab a rag, uh, any kind of rag will work. My rags, they are clean, I promise. They just look super dirty. But I'm using my big, huge economy tin for addicts. Um, if you're an addict already and you need one of these, I can order you one. Um, if you are just getting started with Daddy Vans and you get hooked, I can order you one too. Anyway, I'm using the lavender scent. Um, I scoop it out because I don't ever want to contaminate my huge jar. Um, I just get a little bit on here. A little goes a long way. I know everybody says that, but I'm telling you a little goes a long way. Um, so like that much will do this whole drawer. You do not have to put it on in any particular fashion. Let me move away. You don't have to put it on in any particular fashion. In fact, I just like spread it. So I will just put it like say in the middle and then just go back and can you see that? Maybe I can patch the light so you can see it. And then I'll just go back and spread it on. Hopefully you can see that. Your goal is just to saturate or to just to push it down into your paint. You're wanting to create a seal between your paint. You're wanting to give it a good seal so that it'll be protected from moisture, from fingerprints, from dirt, all that nasty stuff. And that's it. Like, super easy. Okay, so this has been sitting for about 15 minutes and uh, we're ready to buff this. And when I say buff, there's really, it's effortless. We're really just going to wipe it out with a soft cloth. Um, I have not had to break out my um, electric buffer since I've used Daddy Vans. So that is awesome. Um, you really, there's no rhyme or reason. You're just going to wipe it out. Um, and like I said, different for each paint. So just do a little test side or just a little test swatch and just see if it's ready. Um, and you can always just apply more if you, if you think it needs another coat or whatever. So... Um, while I'm doing this, let me tell you about the difference in the finishes because that was one of the questions. Um, Solvent-based waxes, I'll compare it to Fadiz and Sons. Um, Solvent-based waxes, as soon as you apply those waxes, they contain a chemical agent that dries the wax. Um, it evaporates as soon as it goes on. Um, but So when you go back and begin to buff it, it will shine up. These are not going to do, Daddy Bands is not going to do that. It's going to remain a soft, lustrous finish. It's never going to get to be that high shine that you will get with Fadiz and Sons or other solvent-based waxes. It's going to remain a matte finish. Let's see if you can see that. It's really, really pretty, though. It complements... Um, distressed furniture really, really nicely. Um, milk paint, chalk paint, it really looks great with those. Um, but you're never going to get that high shine. However, the protection is still there. Um, I didn't think that in the beginning. I thought, okay, it cannot be protecting. It does not look like there's anything there. So I created test panels. And um, 
four months later, I've been going back and still water beads right off like it did day one. So the protection factor is still there. It just does not have that high shine. Um, so I hope that I've answered all your questions. I think I've covered everything that you've been asking me. If I have not, though, please, please, please feel free to email me. And if you are already using Daddy Vans, I would love to know what your favorite way to use it is. If you're not already using Daddy Vans, contact me. I'd love to send them out to you um, or tell you more about it. So um, I look forward to hearing from you and uh, see you soon.